Hey everyone, I wanted to do a video on coral dipping. Um, this is my first non-frag coral. I usually buy frags because they're a lot cheaper, but this one wasn't too bad, so I wanted to um, buy it, and I decided to do a quick dip because it looked a little dirty in the bag on the way home, and I'm so thankful that I did because there were a couple bristle worms. One was disgustingly big, um, that I found. Um, and to do my coral dip, I'm just going to cover the price that I paid for this. And, um, it was, this is what I use, uh, reef dip. Um, I really like it. I've had no issues so far. Um, and I just put, um, a little bit into some water. Um, definitely follow what it tells you to do. This is not what it, you should do, but this is just how I do it. Um, and I get one of these. I found at my uh, drugstore, um, it's for babies, and I put the dip in the water and then I just um, sort of squirt around, squirt in some holes, see if I can push anything out, um, just like this. Um, and I flip the rock around and everything, and um, luckily it did kill some interesting little fellers. Um, ew. Oh, it's still moving. So, <laughs> so that is the giant bristle worm that I found. I found two more. They weren't as big, um, but that's still moving. It didn't kill it all the way, and it's so gross and so alarming. And I'm so happy that I was able to get it out. Um, it just came out on its own, but I'm so, so happy that I did it because I really don't want any hitchhikers in my tank. Luckily, knock on wood, I've had no hitchhikers, um, and I'm just trying to avoid that Um I just don't want to deal with that pain because they're really hard to get out once you have them in your tank. So I just wanted to show you guys the importance of dipping your corals. So thank you for watching.